Hello guys, welcome back to Sort of Motion VFX for this very short quick tip on a redshift using Fumafix. So just to make things clear, this is not a tutorial about actually rendering the smoke or fire inside of Fumif uh, with Fumafix inside with Redshift Render, because this is just to show that the demo version doesn't work with Fumafix according to the staff in the working at Maxon. So basically they're saying that the demo build are based on the Redshift 2.6 branch and uh, the Fumafix integration is not currently supported by that build. So it has to be Redshift 3.017 uh, and upwards and that's only for the full paying customers. And uh, I only got the dem demo version and I only got it because uh, basically people have asked me I have done a uh, Arnold render and Octane render and um, it should be the same uh, with setting it up and people are asking me how to do it and I don't got render the redshift render but uh, I just decided to get the demo version just to see uh, what all the fuzz is about and then I got this disappointment that the demo version is only 2.6 uh, so, but uh, I will show you anyway up to the point where we can only get this cube shape uh, and from there. So if you have the full version of Redshift, then you should be able to continue from there. So basically here we are inside Cinema 4D and uh, we have a, a Fimoface grid and a simple source and I just, uh, and I just simulated uh, 35 frames and uh, you can see here just as uh, with Octane, with VDB files, before you start your simming, rename your your path, the end after the dot to VDB. And then, uh, of course, make sure you have the correct channels you want, smoke, temperature, and uh, velocity, if you want that. And then I just uh, sim it out uh, without fuel, so I, don't want, I, just, I just want smoke. So basically, this is what I got. Just a very short little animation here. 35 frames of this so in order to get this into redshift i'm just going to change the layout to uh, to redshift like so and then uh, what i'm gonna do is uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna add in a redshift let's see object and a volume just like we just like we did with arnold and with the octane and then here the path Let's just give some more room to play with. In the path, go in and choose UVDB file. I have this Redshift here, VDB2, and I just choose the first one. Open it. And remember, I have 35 frames. So I'll go into animation, mode, symbol, and start frame zero, in frame 35, like so. And right now, we don't see anything here. Then we go back to volume and we're gonna see preview. We wanna set the preview to uh, points, like so. As you can see, we already seen something here. We got the points and let's bump that up to 200, like so, and just play it out. And you can see the grid is wrong here, so choose, select your redshift volume, then coordinate, and then on your rotation here on the P value, choose negative 90 and now we got it and then you go in here and you can just disable the view for the fumo fix so now we only have our redshift here so uh, if we choose a uh, fire up the render view we just get this cube no matter how we look at it and then of course this is the limitation here because I don't have the I only have the demo version as you can see with the watermark I cannot get through this uh, so if you have the full version you should be able to continue from here by creating a let's see here a redshift material volume and then add that to the redshift volume up here like so double click this and then from here you would choose your channel here and uh, you can do that by either just uh, type it in or just click this drop down here, choose redshift volume 
and then in here you should have um, your smoke all your channels you exported from Vimufix so to put smoke here and then you will just play with these two values the scatter coefficient and the absorption uh, and those should follow along so when you do that this one is uh, like the lightness of the of the uh, film effects so the lower the value the more transparency you'll get and the higher the value the more the darker you'll get and with the scattering it's like uh, the density up here get more dense if you also exported uh, fuel with fire then you would put that channel in here in the emission uh, and then let's see here then uh, if we just play along here you can actually see it is following along but we still we only get this cube and that's the limitation by this the last thing you need to be able to see it it's uh, your light so just add in a dome light here and then the most important thing with the light is going to the uh, let's see the volume tab and then the contribution scale you need to bump that way up like so when you do this and the redshift renders on then exactly at this point you should be able to see your 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 smoke inside your IPI window so uh, this is unfortunately where I can get further than here because I only have the demo version but uh, this is how you guys will set up the film effects with a redshift so uh, thank you for this little short tutorial guys uh, I hope you learned something uh, but I will definitely just stick to octane next time i will do a v-ray uh, to see the v-ray volume because people are asking about that as well so that should be basically same principle but i have to do some digging investigating into that so thank you a lot guys see you next time bye